action. Um, our target audience is 16 to 30 year olds and our video seeks target audience because it shows the different people. Like in the video it shows the different people, different ages and social class and goes through them. Um, the genre is indie and alternative because of the clothes that the um, artist and the people wear that are in the video and because um, our main artist plays an acoustic guitar and that's like that relates to the indie genre. Mm -hmm. um, it relates to the alternative genre because there's different types of people in the video like alternative people like the tramp and everything in different classes. Um, <coughs> the dig pack and the advert also um, are relevant because the artist is wearing clothes like of that people like indie people wear. And the um, <coughs> the digi pack it's just got plain top on and stuff and then in the it's in the um, advert as well. And then there's a correlation between our products because the Digipack has shot parts of the music video in, like the coloured souls bit is in the music video as well. And the advert's got a picture of the artist and we use different colour writing for coloured souls and single out now because of the title is coloured souls, so we use colours and then we use it in single colour now to make it stand out as well. Yeah, and that's the same with our, uh, um, the same bad digipack we used. Like, some of it was in colour, and some of it was just in play, just in black and white, like the video flicks from black and white to um, colour. Why did you decide to have the um, contrast between black and white and colour? Um, we use colour where people have positive lives and then um, black and white where people's lives are quite negative and like the tramp's always in colour and then at the end it turns, um, so black and white and then at the end it turns to colour because it has a sign saying that like, the black and white turns determine who you are and then it just shows that you shouldn't and you are who you are right now. And because um, in the song it says um, in the black and white towns we roam, so we put up black and white um, video in there. So how effective do you think your music video is for your target audience? Um, I think it's quite effective because it like it shows like bad and good points in people's lives. And, yeah. How effective do you think your music video is for your chosen genre? Um, yeah, I think it's uh, effective because obviously it shows um, people like who are alternative in the yeah, uh, like the tramp society. People. Yeah, mm -hmm. and people who just sing on the streets and that, even though they're not tramps. They're just obviously they're an the alternative, and um, obviously our main artist is like. <laughs> Quite indie and so yeah, and we chose him because he looks like the actual artist <laughs> Matty. So, <clears throat> how effective do you think your digi pack is to your target audience? Yeah. I think yeah, I think it's effective because it has um, it has like parts of the music video in it. So, like we said about. Because the music video is effective, it surely must mean the yeah. digipack effective because it has like, the same elements to it. So you've carried on the consistency yeah. throughout yeah. all three elements? Yeah. How effective do you think the digipack is to the genre? Yeah, I think it is quite effective because we've got the acoustic guitar there as well, so it kind of shows if you just, look, if you just looked at it and it shows what kind of genre it would be and then obviously because the artist is on it then you kind of know as well that it's alternative and all the different people <coughs> that are shown I mean like because we didn't have just one artist we use all different people so yeah. I think that, that's what made it better because it can relate to everybody
Thank you. What about your advert? How effective is that to the genre and target audience? Yeah, I think it's still quite effective because it's still the artist. So. And obviously, because we've done black and white and colour, yeah. it relates to the song. So, and the song relates to obviously what the genre and yeah. the target audience. Okay, so looking at your music video firstly, is there anything that you would do in the future to make it more effective to suit the genre and target audience? Um, well, I think what we would do is where the bit is when we have the people holding up yeah. the signs, I think we would use people of different ethnicities. I mean, we did try and do that at the beginning, yeah, but the, the camera, camera went, it, it went all filled like, it dark, yeah. so we couldn't actually use it. So we would but, definitely do that. Yeah, but we did try and do it anyway, but it went wrong, so... And... Um, I don't yeah, know, I guess make it more clear as well, maybe, like... With, we could have, like, really run-down places and then really fancy places or whatever. But, yeah. To show a big contrast, maybe. Yeah, to make it more... the message more clear. Okay, looking at your digipack, what would you do in the future to make that more effective to the target audience and genre? Um, we just probably change these yeah. people again into different people of different ethnicities, but obviously it didn't work. So, but we probably do that. Yeah, we would change that because obviously we would change the one in the video. Yeah. So it'd be different altogether. Is there any correlation between um, your, the front of the digipack and your advert that you may change to make it a bit stronger, maybe? Um, Anything to do with the font or the picture? Yeah, maybe we could have used the same font. Yeah, definitely. But um, I, don't know, I think I quite like having two different photos. Yeah, because it shows the difference. Yeah, but we could have probably used the same font. Yeah. Mm. How does your music video compare with other music videos of the same genre? Um, do you want to say many? No, not many. No. Of the same genre. Yeah. Because the artist that we chose, I don't think he actually brought any. No, he's not on like mainstream music videos. videos so. He's got one music video, but it's never actually been brought onto a music channel. It's on YouTube if you want to watch it. So. And what's that like in comparison with yours? Yeah, it's quite similar. It does show people of all different classes, and he is playing the guitar in it as well. And, but he's got other people lip syncing to it, just. Yeah. But then it's all people of different classes, so and different ages, just show, showing different social groups, really. So they do relate, I guess, yeah. to the, the genre that we're doing. And what about your advert in Digipack? How does that relate to the adverts in Digipacks that you've seen of the similar genre or target audience? Um, well, it's just a picture of the artist, which most people of that genre have. Right. Yeah, we just thought we'd go to put the artist's picture on the front. So obviously, yeah. that's what a lot of the Digipacks do. Yeah. And then these two are the inside, so they're just other pictures maybe of the artist or. Yeah, and then like usually it's quite video. plain on the back with just the tracks. We've tried to do that as well, and then we put an acoustic guitar to show the genre of it. Yeah. So.